Hi everybody, I hope your first couple weeks of January have been going great. If you watched my last video, my New Year's video, you know that I decided to use a personal planner to keep myself organized and to keep myself focused on my goals. I'll make sure to put a link if you wanna watch that video, but as I was starting to fill out the planner, I felt like I really didn't know what I was doing. Like I didn't know how to write a clear goal. I would look back and read what my daily plan was. It just didn't seem focused to me. So I went on Google and searched how to write a goal. After looking through several examples, I think I found something that would work for me. I found something that I liked. So I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you were confused or you were also trying to find a better way to write your daily goals. This is a guideline on how to write a goal. And for me, that helps me. So some of you guys may have heard of it, but if you haven't, I'm gonna go over real quick what each one of these means. The S is for specific. What exactly needs to be accomplished and why do I want to accomplish this goal? My specific goal for today is to film some footage to be able to make a video. M for measurable. How will I know if I've succeeded? How can you determine that you've met the goal? Well, in the end, I wanna be able to make a five to eight minute video. So throughout the day, I need to make sure I film enough footage to be able to create a five to eight minute video. A for attainable. Do you have the resources? Do you have the right tools? Do you have the right materials to accomplish the goal? My camera, uh, laptop, internet connection, editing software, stuff like that. I have the basics to create a YouTube video. R for relevant. Is it meaningful to me? Am I willing to commit to this goal. It's meaningful to me. I really enjoy making the videos. I wanna be able to get better and to get better, well, I gotta make more videos. T for time bound. What is the deadline? When do I need to start to accomplish this goal? Since this is a daily goal, I want to get all my footage filmed by the end of today. And usually I go to bed around 10 p.m., so I want to be done by 10 p.m. So now that I've shown you all the parts, I'm basically just gonna put it all together to make a sentence and that's going to be my daily goal. By the end of today, I will film enough content to create a five to eight minute video. Next thing I have to figure out were priorities. How do I know what my priorities are? How do I know what to prioritize first and second and third? Like I knew I had to get all these things done, but I didn't know where to start. So what I figured out are that priorities are things that have to be done, things that have a deadline. So for us, we have to be packed up and moved out of this house by next week. I cannot put off packing to edit for hours or take footage for hours each day because I have to focus my time on packing. That is a priority. But as I work on packing and cleaning up the house, I'm gonna stop, you know, maybe 10 minutes here, 30 minutes to film a little bit of what I'm doing, just like I am now, to tell you guys how I'm trying to set up my goals, priorities, and tasks. I still have my job. I have to do it. I have to create my work schedule or I don't get paid. The last priority are the videos. So as much as I really want to film and create content, at the end of the day, if I don't get to it, I'm disappointed and I didn't get to do what I really wanted to do, but it doesn't affect me, it doesn't affect Sal or anybody else. You just have to be realistic and prioritize based on urgency and importance. And the next thing that I needed to learn how to do correctly is the to-do list. The things that you write down on your to-do list should be quick and easy and are not gonna take a lot of time. You know, you don't write down big projects that are gonna take up a lot of your day because you have priorities, you have a big goal. So, you know, laundry, walking the dogs. Josie, wait up. I'm putting stuff that I, we don't want anymore on eBay. So check those listings or take photos of stuff to put on eBay, buy packing tape. They're just like the little everyday things that gotta be done. Okay guys, that's gonna be how I will be writing my daily goals and filling out my planner. I hope that it will help me stay focused and organized so I can reach my overall goal of growing this YouTube channel. I also hope that maybe it gave you some ideas on how to write your own goals and fill out your planner so that you can be successful as well. But if you have any suggestions for me, please write it down in the comment section below so that we can all learn and grow together and reach our goals in 2018. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.